Anyway, I'm Scotty Cowley, the president of Tapper, and welcome to the Tapper Forum for Hamvention 2022, which maybe we never thought would happen. But we're here, and it's happening, so it's good to see everyone again in person. So give you a little quick intro of what's uh, happening here. We had a little bit of change. Uh, Jonathan, who was going to present on the VLF module for the Tangerine, has uh, been called away to work and he's not available. So we're going to have Nathaniel fill in. Okay, so we're, the last talk here at 1015 is going to be from Nathaniel, and he's going to talk about traveling ionospheric disturbances, and he's got a, a lot of cool data on whisper, whisper data, whisper data, so it's kind of relevant to us. So that's the schedule. I'll get back to this in a minute. We will continue with announcements. The banquet. Unfortunately, if you don't have a ticket, you can't get one because they have to have an advanced count. But if you do have one, this is where it's going to be at the Corps Presidential Banquet Center. And uh, we're going to be uh, reviewing the uh, amazing life of Bob, Bob Berninga, WB4APR. It's going to be a lot of really cool stories. The Washington Room. The Washington Room. If you get to the Kohler Center, you'll figure it out. Go left. Go with the That's heat. what I've been told. We're, we're veering left here. Nothing political, just turn left. Or you can go right three times if you want to do that. Okay, also coming up in September is the uh, Tacker ARL Digital Communications Conference. We still haven't decided whether it's going to be live or Memorex yet. So uh, it may still be virtual, we are not sure. But if it's live, it will be in Charlotte, North Carolina, like it was supposed to be in 2020, and then again in 2021, and now it's 2022, and so maybe this will be the year that we have to have a live one. So a lot more technical stuff up here probably, but uh, if you're interested in SDR, DSP, internet, APRS, many, many topics of, of uh, technical interest that uh, you'll probably enjoy. And we have a Friday night social, which kind of substitutes for a, a light dinner, and you get to interact, network with people, and uh, just kind of drop by and listen to the conversations, and you'll hear amazing things. So here is the picture of the Fine Business Hotel, which I think has changed names twice since we signed up. So. Yeah. Anyway, it's called the uh, Hilton Charlotte Airport Hotel. We've got a really good rate, so uh, look for that on the Tapper.org website when you're ready to take uh, sign up for it. Becoming uh, next project after Hamvention here will be the DCC, so look for that on the website. A uh, quick update on the kits that we have. A uh, lot of uh, stuff almost there, but not quite there, and some stuff that's uh, been expanded a little bit. Uh, most notably, uh, in the future here, getting closer every minute, the Tangerine SDR, we actually have some field boards back at the Tapper Room, so come by and take a look at those. We've got, uh, we're ready to produce the uh, Magneto Pi hat, which is a three-axis magnetometer for Raspberry Pi, get ready to produce that in quantity. And we've got the prototypes for most of the Tangerine boards. We're still short the data engine, but uh, that's a, for another forum. But we have a workaround. Come talk to us. We'll show you the boards and give you the rundown of what's going on. Uh, probably the best thing you're going to find is whisper transmitters. We now have whisper transmitters for all bands, 160 to 10. And it's a Raspberry Pi hat board, so if you have your Raspberry Pi handy, okay, i got to ask this. How many people have Raspberry Pis? How many people have five Raspberry Pis? How many people have 10 Raspberry Pis? Okay, we got, how about 15? 20? How many? How many? 23? Anybody have more than 23? You have more than 23? Oh, okay, how many? 30? 30? 45. <laughs> okay, I guess you win, but I'm not sure if you win or what. <laughs> okay, now, to answer this though, how many of them are still in the box? <laughs> About a third. Okay, so then you're tied. <laughs> Anyway, so take one of your Raspberry Pis out of the box and plug this board onto it and uh, buy it or build it for whichever band you want. So for 20, 30, and 40, we have out of the box ready to go. 
For the other bands, we have a board without the filter components on it and a kit of filter parts for whatever band you pick. So you'll have to do a little bit of soldering. No SFT, you can see. It's, it's, uh, this is through hole parts that you have to solder, so it's relatively easy and it becomes a Raspberry Pi, I mean, a, a Whisper Beacon transmitter. And we've got them here at the show if you want to buy one. I think the show special is $30. And if you're a member, it's 25, so I encourage you to join up, get yourself a discount, buy all five bands. We also have some tiny products. You've seen these before, so we won't dwell on them too much, but we have these here, and we have a few other uh, limited uh, tiny products here. We didn't bring a huge inventory, but we have a little bit of everything. So if you're interested in tiny products like these, these uh, five boards here, stop by the booth and we'll enlighten you as to what we have. We're in booths 5009 to 5011, which is in building five in the very corner next to the, on the flea market side, right by the double door. So you can see Tangerine prototype boards. We have a, an FT8 SDR demo running, if we can get the antenna to work, which is, we're not sure yet. Uh, we also have a, a free DV wireless microphone demo. It's brand new. So stop by and see if you're interested in digital voice and all. Come by and see that and be interested in that. And we do have a 20 meter whisper demo working. So you can see how that works with the Raspberry Pi. Very simple setup. And you can talk with us and belittle us and give us, tell, tell us what you're working on. So we kind of know what's happening. That's kind of what we're all here. We'll tell you what we're doing, you tell us what you're doing, and then we'll all be excited. Okay, so I gotta put in a plug here for, uh, for the uh, editors of QST and QEX who couldn't be here today, uh, Kai sent me some slides to encourage you to write. These, you guys are the guys doing the experimental stuff in ham radio. And help us all out, write about it. Tell us what you're doing. Tell QEX what you're doing. Tell QST what you're doing. Write about it, because other than being famous by being in QST or QEX, you will uh, help all of us know what you're doing and spread the word. And interestingly enough, does everybody know what QEX is? Everybody? Anybody? Anyway, it's an ARL membership benefit now. So you don't get a paper copy, but you can get it online for free, including with your membership. So I always like QEX better than QST because it had technical stuff in it. So, and then of course, NCJ and the On The Air, the new On The Air magazine, they're all included as membership benefits too. So. But QEX needs technical articles. They're looking for them. So what better place to go than you guys who are doing technical stuff? And here we go. This is kind of what they're looking for. Deep, QEX more detailed technical articles and QST more general interest. But really, you can let the editors decide. So you can put your article in and you can say, let them decide, oh, this is too technical for QST, uh, or is it more general interest? Maybe it goes there. They'll be happy to help you do that. Here's the very easy URL, or emails, qex at arl.org or qst at arl.org. And they have great author guides too. If you're not sure, you're a little nervous about writing, go read one of these author guides. It'll really enlighten you. It's only a couple pages. It's not really hard to deal with. And thank you for my URL. And if you are a little bit nervous about writing for a magazine with a circulation of a couple hundred thousand, or you're not sure of your technical expertise to write for QEX, you can write for Tapper's PSR. I think it's more down to Tapper's uh, interests like uh, RSDRs or uh, APRS, uh, packet radio, ESP, that kind of thing. We have a packet status register, our newsletter, that comes out every quarter. And we're always seeking writers, particularly hams, hams, who like to write about their projects. And again, I like this one. You don't have to be Iron Percy Max and to contribute. You don't have to be able to write War and Peace. Sometimes articles are one page. Just take a minute. One page should be pretty easy. That's like the book report you had in high school, right? Not very hard. And they can take any format. Microsoft Word is easy, 
uh, whatever entity you like, open office, Stanek can take anything. So right early and often, just like voting in Chicago. Okay, okay, I won't go who they call you. So again, back to the uh, schedule. We're gonna, I'm going to wrap up here, and uh, then we're going to get started with John Ackerman, who's going to talk to us about the design of the GPSDO for Tangerine SDR. And then we're going to have John Hayes talk about uh, ARDC grants, why you want one, why you need one, what you should do to get one, who you should, who you should talk to. And at 10.15, we're going to have, uh, like I said before, Nathaniel talking about traveling ionospheric disturbances. <laughs>